Hey everybody, this is Steve Winward. And in this video, I wanna call out some of the awesome work that the AI Builder product group has done to roll out AI Builder, which is our low code approach to building AI models into our government clouds. So specifically, you now have the capability to use Power Platform with AI Builder in GCC and GCC High. I'm gonna walk you through a demo that I put together. It's available on our Federal Business Applications GitHub repository and you can install this in minutes. What this demo is going to do is it's gonna show you how you can use Power Automate with AI Builder in conjunction with a Canvas app in Power Platform to take a photo of a driver's license and then use AI Builder to automatically extract all of the metadata from the license and then present that into a Canvas application. You also get a confidence score associated with every single record that we're pulling back from the data of the driver's license. So you get the choice. Do you want to fully automate this in your workflow? Or if it's below a certain threshold, you can decide let's flag this and let's have a human take a look at that before we move further. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you the demo. All of this that I'm about to show you in this demo is running live in GCC High today. So this is the sample application we've provided that now runs in GCC and GCC High. You've got two options when you run this. You can either upload an existing photo of a driver's license, which is why in our GitHub repository, we've actually included sample driver's licenses that you can play with automatically. Or if you wanted to, you can just take a new photo through the app. So if you wanted to play around with your actual driver's license, that's what you could do there. Let's take a look at upload existing. So now we're gonna click on this control. This is gonna prompt us to then choose the file. These are all of the sample licenses we provide in our GitHub repository. Let's go ahead and choose Tennessee. We'll open that. We'll process it. In the background, this is kicking off a Power Automate flow that's calling the AI Builder pre-built model for the driver's licenses. And now what we see here are the results of the AI Builder model. So we can see the image that we uploaded. We can see various fields that we've extracted automatically from the driver's license. Now this is not all of the fields that the AI Builder pre-built model gets, but there's a lot of them here. And this just kind of highlights how this works. So you can see the first name, the last name, the date of birth, the expiration date of the license, which state issued the driver's license, the gender, as well as the address. Now there's also a corresponding confidence score for every single one of these fields here. And so the confidence score, the higher it gets to one, meaning it's closer to 100%, the more confident our pre-built model is for that result. But the really cool thing here is that you can make decisions automatically. If that confidence score is too low for your organization or for the purpose of what you're building, you can then flag that and have somebody manually look at that to review it before it moves on to the next step. The other option I wanted to show was just what it would look like if you took a photo with the Canvas app. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, the way that we've set this up is it gives you options of which camera control you wanna choose. In this case, I'm gonna choose the front of my Surface device. And then what I've done is I've actually printed out one of these sample licenses. And I'm just gonna then click on the control, and then we're gonna go ahead and process that. And now what that is doing is that's actually then taking the image we've just captured, processing that with the same Power Automate flow, and then extracting the fields the same way. And so just like before, we now see the fields it extracted and the confidence value associated with each one of those fields. So to get started with the sample, the first place you wanna go is to our GitHub repository. It's the Federal Business Applications GitHub repository in the Microsoft org. We'll have a link in the show notes below. So you go to the homepage and then you can see a bunch of demos. The one that we're talking about here is the AI Builder Driver's License Canvas app demo. And when you go into this, there's a couple of instructions of how to get started, but I'll walk you through that really quickly. The first thing you wanna do is you want to download the AI Builder sample solution file. So go ahead and download that. And the other thing that you're gonna to wanna to download is right here, I've given a zip file of a bunch of sample US state driver's licenses. And that came from this website on insider.com. There's not all of them. I think there's about 47 or 48 because a few of them, the image quality was so poor that we couldn't actually automatically detect data from that. But I think you'll get like 47 of the 50 or 51 states in the United States. Click on that and download that as well so that once you get the sample up and running, you already have sample driver's licenses you can go ahead and play with. So just remember, you need a couple of things to get started with this. First, you need AI Builder credits. 
you also need to have a Dataverse database created in your Power Platform environment. Now, the way that you would add AI Builder credits is you go into the Power Platform Admin Center, which we're looking at right now, go into Capacity underneath Resources, and then you can actually go ahead and choose the environment and then actually add credits. So in this case, I'm going to add 100,000 credits to this environment for Power Platform. We'll go ahead and save that. And now I've just assigned credits to this new environment that I just provisioned. Once you've added the AI Builder credits, it can take a few minutes for those credits to get reflected into your environment. So if you don't see it right away, just be patient. It will show up in a few minutes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install that sample solution that we just downloaded from the GitHub repository. So we're going to go to import, browse, we'll pull it from my downloads, and we'll go say next, import, and we just got that successfully imported. So we can now see that there's the AI Builder Samples solution. If you click on this, there are two components to the solution. One is the Canvas app, the other is the flow. So let's go ahead and we'll just click on the Canvas app and we'll go ahead and play it. The first time you run this, you will get some prompts for things that it's going to use. Once again, it requires the Dataverse, so it's going to use a Dataverse connection here. It's also going to use a camera. We'll go ahead and allow both of those. Once you do that the first time, you don't have to accept that every single time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to upload an existing photo. We'll go ahead and click on this. And because I've downloaded those sample driver's license, I've got a bunch to choose from now. We'll go ahead and choose Michigan. We'll say open and we'll process that. And there we go, we've got the results just like you saw in the demo earlier. This is now working end to end. I also wanted to take a second to just go through the details of how this application works. Once again, there's two parts to this. One is the Power Automate flow that calls the AI Builder model, responds the results back to the Canvas app. And then the second component is the Canvas app itself. What we're looking at here is the Power Automate flow. Let's go ahead and open this up just so we can kind of get a feel for what this looks like under the covers. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a trigger here. It's the Power Apps V2 trigger. And then what we've defined is that there's going to be one parameter for input, which is the image. So the Canvas app itself is then going to pass an image to this flow. And then what it's going to do is call a pre-built action, which is the AI Builder action to process a driver's license record. And here we just pass the image parameter to that. The last step is then the response. And what we're doing is we're actually parsing the results of the AI Builder model and then just passing those back as parameters. So we've got the address, the gender, the first name, last name, et cetera. And then for every one of those values, there's also a corresponding confidence score, and that's what we're returning here. So that's how you can define exactly what are the values that are coming back to the Canvas app. The next thing I want to do is just show a couple of things that are key components of the Canvas app and how it integrates with the Power Automate flow. All of this is out there on GitHub, so you can install this in your own environment and take a look at everything. I just wanted to highlight a couple of things that I think are really important to understand how this works end to end. The first thing that I want to take a look at is on either one of these pages, when you're adding an existing photo or taking a new photo, there is this one action here called process. And I just want to kind of zoom into that to kind of explain how this all works. So what we'll see is that there's a little bit of function syntax we've got here on the on click for the process event. And so there is this variable that we've defined as the response. This right here, this call is actually calling that Power Automate flow we just looked at. And what we're doing is we're passing some parameters to it. We're actually passing a file to it. In this case, the content bytes comes from the actual image that was uploaded from the control itself. So in this case, uploaded image one dot image is that image. We're also passing it a name because when you use Power Automate Flow, it expects that a file type has both the content bytes and the name. In this case, you could name that whatever because we're not using the name in the flow itself. That's why I just gave it a placeholder of image.jpg, but that could be anything. And then the next thing that I'm doing is I'm then navigating. Once I get the response from the Power Automate Flow, I'm saving that to the variable response and then sending that to a results screen. And what I do there is then passing it some context specific variables where we give it the results from the flow. We also give it the image because then we can actually show what the image looks like when you're looking at the results side by side. And then in here, this is the results page. And so you can see there's a couple of controls here, what the image was, and then all of the corresponding values as well. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a deeper dive into how this actually works under the covers. 
Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. We are super excited that you now have the ability to run AI Builder in GCC and GCC High. If you have any questions about this demo or any questions about what was presented today, please feel free to put a comment in the comments below. And also, if you haven't checked out our new repository, please check out the Federal Business Applications GitHub repository that we published a few weeks ago. Those will also be in the show notes below. Until next time, thanks for watching this video.